Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. So what we've been working on is a Rope Runner Pro and we've been using it in an MRS system. A while back ago I did a, um, a video on a um, self tending close hitch system. Um, also we call it Easy MRS. So what I wanted to do, since I've been playing around with this using it in an MRS system, see if I can do that self tending MRS system. You know, if I didn't have a senders and I didn't, you know, I was had a body thrust high let's see if I can get it to work in that way so let's get to it so here's the rope runner pro the way you would set it up for um, doing an MRS system um, normally I like to use the outside D-rings this is how I normally use it um, it gets me away from the bird and when I pull I pull on this side so um, how it works you have to like do a hip thrust so what you do is you know I like to have my gloves on these these rubber gloves are awesome, by the way. They're cheap. You can get them anywhere. You can even buy them at a 99 cent store if you wanted to. They're really great at gripping the line. So you'll grab your rope, throw your hips up, and then you, you tend your line. So this is what hip thrusting is. Okay. So the self-tending is where you, do, you take out the step where you're going to... Um, where you have to feed the line. To do that, what you do is you get the carabiner that's connected to your rope runner, and then you'll make a, a clove hitch and think about how much you want to pull. For me, I got short arms. I really don't want to go very high so I'll put my clove maybe what eight inches or so get my carabiner open connect it tight I uh, using a clove hitch and with this you want something with a, like a clove so it won't move on you once you get it set on your line you don't want the carabiner to move So, and once you do that, you connect it to your Rope Runner Pro. Okay, so the idea is that every time I'm going to pull, gonna the Rope Runner Pro is going to go up with me. So I don't have to do that extra step attending. So it'll be this length. Um, what will happen is this will get in the bird, but I'm not really going to, this isn't to like go work the tree, it's just to get up. And once you get up, what you want to do is take it apart and put it back the way you normally climb. So, uh, there you go. Now that I have it connected, I'm going to see if I can proceed up the tree and if it works the same way as that um, self tending close hitch system. Okay, here we go. Oops, I forgot to mention that I got to put it on my center post. Um, you, you normally I have it on my side, but for this you want to have it on the center so you don't because you're, you're only tied to one point. All right, here we go. Feet on the trunk, pull up, lift, pull. So it stops you from having to do the um, tending with your other hand and every pull, it goes up. So the thing is it it gets in the way of the bird and that's not the best but once you get up to the top you want to like switch over all right cool So once you get into the canopy, get up, get set, there. So this is good. Then what I'll do, I'll put my lanyard on. Make sure I'm tight. And then 
what I don't want to do is work the tree this way because um, it might get in the way of the bird there. So disconnect and then reconnect it how you normally would. By doing that, you want to take off the clove. All right, once you disconnect that, connect back to your rope runner. And then you'll connect it to your center post. Make sure you're connected. There you go. Once you're connected, there you go. Okay. So now what I've done is in the way I connected, I put it so the the bird will be. Um, on this side of the rope so if I want to work the tree I can but you know for me I normally like to have um, my climbing system separated so what I'm going to do is take this one off and the other one in, and I'm going to switch um, switch my the way I'm climbing so I usually put it on my side D-rings I feel more comfortable that way there we go. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. You don't want to have a twist in your line. You'll, you'll be dragging. That's better. There. So now I'm ready to go ahead and work the way I'd like to normally work. Well, this was the Rope Runner Pro using the South Tending System. Um, some of the things to know about it is when you when you're going up this rope tends to get in the bird you you shouldn't work the tree this way this is really just to get up to the tree if you're not having a centers and you're going to do a hip thrust it's a little easier than doing a hip thrust or body thrusting because every time you pull your your um, runner goes up with you um, downside is also you have to change it out um, today i was using this um, perfect o it's a smaller carabiner so um, you can see the size of a carabiner um, I like the perfect O when I'm using a rope runner because it's closer to me. But tying the clove hitch, it was a little bit hard to take it off. Using a regular carabiner, having a clove hitch here would probably be a lot easier to do. Um, once you get up to the tree, you'll, you would have to disconnect and um, tie it in the way you normally would do for an MRS system. Um, I'd say ultimately though, I think as Rope Runner Pro, the best way to use it is in an SRS system. Um, it's just options. It, it's, it's nice to have an option if you were planning on using an MRS and to go up the tree by hip thrusting or body thrusting. Um, makes it a little bit easier. Well, this was the self-tending ascending system using the Rope Runner Pro. Remember, when you're going to do a new techniques in tree care, do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. Take care. We'll see you next time.